Solomon had a long and prosperous reign. But after he died, the northern half of the kingdom broke away and made a wicked man named Jeroboam their king. 975 BC. The northern kingdom was far from the temple in Jerusalem, so they built their own places of worship, complete with idols in the image of golden calves. This is the God that brought you out of Egypt, and here are his priests. But what about the law of Moses and the temple that God set up in Jerusalem? But what about the holy scripture God gave to his prophets? It commands us not to have any other God. It says there is only one God and one way to him. Do you think God is so narrow-minded? I will hear no more of this. Baal worship is now the official religion of the land. Infidels will be put to death. O oh, Baal, receive this sacrifice from our humble hands. Blessed art thou, Queen of Heaven, Mother of God. Hear our prayers and forgive our sins. What are you doing on the sacred ground? In the name of Jehovah, from whom you have departed, hear the word of the Lord. A child shall be born of the seed of David. From his lineage will come the Deliverer. His name will be Josiah, and upon this altar he will burn the priests of Baal. How can you say such a thing? No one can tell the future but the gods. By the word of the Lord I say unto you, that the bones of these very priests shall Josiah burn upon this altar. God will give you a sign that I speak for him. This very day that fine altar that you have built to worship dumb idols will split and the ashes will spill out. Ha ha ha! Listen to the pious ass Bray. He thinks he is right and everyone else is wrong. Seize him! Kill him! How dare he speak against another man's religion! My arm is withered! Jehovah has punished me! Pray that he will heal me! Lord God, make yourself known this day. Heal the king's arm. It's a miracle! God, heal my arm! Jehovah, so soon? He destroyed my religion. There is nothing left. Truly, you are a man of God. No prophet of Baal has ever done such a thing. Come with me. We will refresh ourselves with food and drink. And then I will give you riches and honor for your great service to God this day. No, I cannot go with you. God told me to eat no food and drink no water while I was in Israel, and not to return by the same way I came. But you said the priest's bones would be burnt on the altar. The altar is gone, and no one died. It was God's words, not mine. So as God commanded, the prophet of God returned by a different route. He had been without food or water for two days, and he was terribly thirsty and hungry. Two young men, who were worshipping the golden calf that day, followed him to see which way he would go. Father, I would not have believed it if I hadn't seen it. It was just like the old prophets of Israel. Father, do you think what he said is true? Is Jehovah the only living God? Are our idols nothing? But wood and gold? Quick, saddle the ass. I must find him. He found the prophet of Jehovah sitting under a tree. He wanted to be close to this man with such power. He was once a prophet of Jehovah, but when the kingdoms divided, he followed the idolatry of his countrymen. He had reasoned, weren't all religions the same? You must be the man of God from Judah. You look tired. Come home with me, and I will serve you food and drink. I cannot. 
God told me not to eat or drink in this place. But you see, I am a prophet, just like you. And this very morning, an angel of Jehovah spoke to me and told me to bring you to my house to eat and drink. Thank God, I am so thirsty. Jehovah has spoken. Because you have not obeyed the commandment of Jehovah God, but have eaten and drunken in this place, your dead body will not return to Judah to be buried in your family cemetery. Papa, you're prophesying. Did God speak to you too? Yes, my son. The first time in years. You mean he is going to die? I'm afraid so. And it's all my fault. It has been a fine meal, but I must be on my way back to Judah. The prophet left with a heavy heart, knowing that God was always faithful to his word. He knew he would die. He just didn't expect it to be so soon or in this manner. That is the prophet from Judah. I have never seen anything like it. The lion just killed him, but just sits there and won't eat him. It is even stranger that the lion and the donkey sit there together like they were guarding the body. The false prophet took the man of God and buried him in his own grave among the prophets of Baal, close to the place where God destroyed the altar. God slew him for his disobedience. Surely, all that he prophesied will come to pass. The man of God was buried and soon forgotten by all but a few. The altar was repaired and nearly 300 years later, it was still used by the worshipers of Baal. But no one ever burnt their bones on the altar as the man of God predicted. 300 years later, a king named Josiah took the throne in Judah, 640 BC. He went up to the temple and found a copy of the Bible. It disturbed him when he realized that the nation had forgotten the living God and gone after idols. So he commanded all the elders, prophets, priests, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem to come together to hear the book read. The people were ashamed of their sin and agreed to obey all the words of the book. 